Alright guys, I am Fobzy here today and today I have a tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server on a Mac and first off you're going to want to go to the link in the description and go to the bottom link minecraft underscore server dot jar and you're going to click on that save file and then I've already got one downloaded but I'll just click this one to download and close out Firefox and drag that minecraft dot jar file or whatever it is called, server.jar, onto your desktop and then make a new folder and call it whatever you want, I will call it server drag that .jar file into there and this is what you should have so far and then you're going to want a text edit open text edit, there we go and then before you do anything, format, make plain text and then paste in the code that it will be in the description as well and then close, save, start, dot, command, right, there you go, and then drag that into a server folder, and that's what you should have now, and then you're going to close that, open up terminal, and then type in chmod, space, a, plus, x, space, and then, go back into that server folder drag the start.command into the terminal file press enter and it'll come up with that you can now close terminal and then double click start.command and it'll come up with 161 recipes uh, and 17 achievements and then it'll say failed to load, failed to load but that's normal because it's just generating the files inside here and also it will have this terminal window open and the only way this server can run is by having both this dot net dot minecraft dot server dot minecraft server and the terminal folder well uh, page open but as you can see it's done so you're just going to close terminal and that will close both of them and then in server you're going to whatever you called it you're going to want to edit some things and I'll open server dot properties with text edit um, in the description there will be a definition of what all of these mean so you can change them for yourself and I'll just close that for now um, and then once you've finished doing all that you can do start.command again you only have to double click it this time and then wait for it to load and whilst that's loading I will open up my minecraft so I will show you that it actually works I'm going to log in make it big so you can see it's almost loaded all right as you can see it says done and when it says warning can't keep up that's just normal it's just sometimes does that so you're gonna in minecraft go to multiplayer I should delete that, delete that. now here's tricky part well not that tricky but if you're running the server, like I am, on the same computer that you play Minecraft, you can put in, oops, you can put in local host, like that. Press done. As you can see, full bars, 0 out of 20, like I put it. Or, you're gonna, if, if you're on the same internet, like, say you're running the server on a main computer in your house, and then you're playing on another computer, but you're still connected to the same internet as that other computer that's running the server. Then you're going to type in your um, internal IP, which is usually one point. It'll it'll be uh, about the same. And then you're going to go to find that you're going to um, go to the airport, open network preferences, and then when it loads. I'll just show you. As you can see here, it says 1.92.168.13. You're going to have that, and then that's what you'll type. So 1.921. Oops, forgot where it was. Oh well. Um, you don't need to see that. But if you want other people to join, then I will have another video up soon on how to port forward, and there will also be a second video 
how to let people join without port forwarding, which is an easier way, but it's a bit annoying sometimes. So that was how to make a Minecraft server. Join me again for other tutorials and other videos that I do. Subscribe, comment and rate. Goodbye.